everyone. My name is Ashna Manoj. I study in grade 7B at Shishya BML Public School. So, today in this video, I am going to tell you all about applications of AI, that is artificial intelligence, about auto draw and quick draw. So, let's start. Artificial intelligence. What exactly is artificial intelligence? All this disease mapping, manufacturing of robots, speech recognition and auto-driven cars are all examples of artificial intelligence. So, artificial intelligence is the ability of computer programs and machines to think and learn. Moving ahead, let's see some of the applications of AI. AI is used in healthcare centers like shown in this image over here. It is used in the development of autonomous cars or self-driven cars. It has many sensors and cameras that guide it to drive automatically. So this is the exterior view and this is the interior view. Then in speech recognition which makes interactive response systems and expert systems which are used to solve complex problems. Moving ahead, let's see more about AutoDraw. AutoDraw is a web-based tool that enables users to create drawings which can then be changed into better ones created by talented artists. So if I create a cat like this, I could make a better one like this. So it gives us faster drawings and better drawings. You all can go to your web browser and search autodraw.com. So I'll open my web browser. So here you have this option where you can choose different types of pages like this or this or this. So I'll go with this for now. Then you can increase and decrease the size of your page. And this is the select tool and this is the auto draw tool. So first let's see how to use the auto draw tool. Click on the auto draw tool and then you can start drawing a rough diagram of your image. So I'll start drawing a tree. So you see the AI is trying to understand what I'm trying to draw and it's showing me better versions of my same drawing like this or this or this or this. I'll go with this for now. Then you have the fill tool over here which enables you to add colors to your drawing. So then I'll choose black from so I'll click on this color option and choose black for the outline and then I'll choose green for the leaves then I'll choose brown you can use auto draw to create greeting cards and posters and many other things then this is a draw tool like how we have in MS paint so here you can increase or decrease the thickness so this is the thinnest and this is the thickest now you have here you have an undo option so you see it works like this then we have the text option which enables us to add text to our drawing. So you can click anywhere on the screen where you want to add text. So for now I'll be writing my name. Okay so here you can even choose the font style and you have the font uh, size also. So I'll be going with Pacifico now. Then you can click on the screen. Then you also have the shapes option over here where there are already predefined shapes so I could choose a circle or then I can go to a square and draw a square like this then you also have the delete option so first you go to the select option select the diagram then delete it again I'll go to select delete it and I can even delete it from my keyboard then you have the zoom option over here so click on the zoom option you have 150% 200% but I'll go with 100 for now. You can even share your drawing with other people and collaborate and work on group projects and activities. So I'll go over here. Then I'll click on share. So it's preparing to share as you all can see. Now you all can copy the link and send it to your friends or any other people. So I'll be opening it in my web browser itself by pasting the link. So you see this is the drawing which I just now made. Moving ahead, let's see more about quick draw. 
Quick Draw is an online game and it challenges users to draw pictures which is guessed by a neural network of AI to guess the drawing. So the more we draw, the more AI gets to learn and it increases the ability of guessing the drawing in future. So you all can go to your web browser and search quickdraw.com and I'll be opening my web browser. So this is the quick draw home screen. Here you have the option called let's draw. So click on it. Then we have totally six drawings and this is the first one as you all can see over here. So I have to draw a computer in under 20 seconds. So I'll, if I click on got it, it will take me to the page where I have to draw. So I'll click on it. I'm not so good at drawing but I'll try my best. Okay. I see line. Or diving, or diving board, board. Or, or pillow, pillow. So oh i know see that she's it's computer to it over here so i have to draw a binoculars so either i can if i mistakenly draw something i could erase it from here or i can go to the next one so let me try to i see circle so you can see moon. that she's trying to guess it okay let me try drawing i don't know i, I see, see eyeglasses, eyeglasses. See, oh, I know. It. It's, it's binoculars. binoculars. Next is an aeroplane, but I'm not good at drawing. So I'll click on this option and go to the next one. So there comes a street light in under 20 seconds. So this is the timer and this is what we have to draw. So I'll try drawing. I see line. line. Or, or asparagus. asparagus. Or, or skyscraper. skyscraper. Oh, oh, I know. It's, it's street light. Next is a fox. I see line, or string bean, or asparagus, or screwdriver, oh I know, it's fork. Then there's the last drawing as you all can see, so I have to draw long hair, okay. I see necklace, or bucket, oh I know, it's long hair. So these are all the diagrams which I just drew, so the neural net could figure out five of my doodles. So as I skip aeroplanes, I'll click on it. Then this is what the neural net could have guessed, which were drawn by other users. So next time if I try drawing something like this, maybe she'll be able to guess it. So I hope you all understood how to use quick draw, auto draw and some of the applications of AI. And I hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you.